Well, so far, I got two big ass bolts, one with two nuts on. Can you believe it? The locking system from a really old ass fucking door. And another big ass nail. I think I have a better solution for my evening. I need to work with discrimination on this thing. Better. Cheers. Fuck this field! Unless there's silver in here. I ain't that bothered on gold. But I want a fucking lovely Queen Victoria sixpence. Or at the very least, a groat. Please and thank you. Well, as you read in the title, uh, this is day one of me adventuring into metal detecting. Uh, this is a Vida XL. It's a bit of a budget one. Uh, I'll cover that in a moment, but it also goes by another name, which I've forgotten, which I'll have to put up on screen. Um, this is a wonderful British Army collapsing shovel or entrenching tool that I got from Walker's Army Surplus in Worksop. So a big thank you to those guys. Uh, to him and his wife, because uh, they got me this for the cheap. Uh, big thank you to Brothers Toffee Apple English Cider. It's not very powerful, but it is a very lovely taste, because we've started here in October. A lot of ploughing going on, and I've probably chosen a bad time, because I can't do this as serious as most other folk. So, I will have to, uh... What's the word? Get my, uh, shoes on and really get out there as often as I can, before things start to change. Um, I've done my basic research, and this seemed like a fair piece, um, 18 centimetre depth. Uh, it can't tell me what metals are around, which is annoying me, because if I'm honest with you, I'm not here to find treasure. Technically. I'll take treasure. But I'm really here for silver. I'm here to boost my silver coin collection, because I could pay 50, 60 pounds for a very lovely groat. A nice silver coin with, I don't know, you know, fucking King Henry VIII, which was a basic bitch. But, um, I'd really love, you know, some Queen Victoria sixpences with the bun hair, you know, that sort of thing. That's what I'm really looking for. I'm not really out here to find riches. I'm not here for rings. Um, so that's something I want to do as I go along, because if you didn't know, I'm not just military. Uh, I've got a lot of other hobbies I never talk about. So this seems like a great way of getting myself out and about, seeing more countryside, doing something social. Um, I would have had my good friend here. I can't call him my best friend, but he's my second best friend. Because my sister's my best friend, but... Um, uh, Tommy, who you normally see in videos, has moved on. He has uh, left the United Kingdom for the rest of his life, likely. He has moved to America and found a loophole so that he can live with his loved one in Florida, and they have gotten married recently. I'm incredibly pleased for them, and I think that my happiness for them, and for their extended happiness, outdoes the loneliness of metal detecting alone in a field, with a spare bottle of cider in my backpack, out of habit. Now, that shit out of the way, as I say, I'm going to enjoy this. I think it's going to be something that's going to be really fun for me, and I'm looking forward to really getting into the nitty-gritty. At the moment, this, as I say, is my budget starter. I will be trading out to a better one soon, hopefully, to a Garrett, maybe 150. It's At the moment, I, I'm on a really low budget because of my work, um, so I haven't got a lot of money to spare. So I'm hoping that a nice £100 second hand or such will do me great favours. Um, unless, of course, you out there have one that you wouldn't mind trading for a bit of militaria, please, by all means, let me know. Unlikely as it is. But, yeah. Um... Hope you all enjoy. Oh, and remember to get um, landowner's permission. I have for this field, not for that one. So I'm only going to be doing a bit of this one. And I told him that I won't be here long because of the dwindling daylight. 
So I'm just gonna reach that pile of shit, cut there, and I'm gonna work my way back around in a sort of, fuck, in a sort of, um, oh, geese. Or they're ducks, ducks I think. And I'm gonna work my way in with like a sort of spiral, like a snail shell. So wish me luck. Uh, see you all on day two, which isn't tomorrow, it's just whenever I come out again. And I will let you all know how things are going. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. And like I say, hopefully I'll make a series out of these. I've got a mental map of a load of fields I do want to check in the local Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire area of England that I know are quite history rich. So I'm incredibly looking forward to doing some of those. This is just something to get me out of the house this evening. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching four to five minutes of me rambling. And I will see you all in day two. Cheers. See, it's, that's when it beeps normal, where it's detecting my uh, spade. But... I don't quite know what's going on there. If I turn up this disc, I forgot what it stands for. I keep thinking it's discrimination, which feels wrong. But I had something. Shovel down. Ah, oh, it's fucking you. Don't give up on me, baby. Ooh, I just heard an owl. Over by that oak tree. Come on, baby. Give me someone. I had you. Turn this disc back up. Alright, let's just dig vaguely there, because I haven't invested in a pointer yet, like I was supposed to. How did you struggle with this? Let me turn the flash on, it's getting dark. It's a nice hunk of farming equipment. Don't tell me in the comments that it's a fucking, like, Roman bangle or something. It's really heavy. I'd love to tell you what metal it is, but I can't. Alright, well. Remove it from the field, and carry on.